What a fun sail away. Now we're on deck seven. And from deck 19 or whatever to deck seven, because we're looking, first of all, there's a seafood bar, which we're going to look at, and a wheelhouse, what's it called? I feel like a pub. We're going here, wheelhouse bar and crown grill. Wheelhouse bar. Hey, are you over there? Yeah. It's pretty. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? The colors. Wow, it is nice. Yeah, they have those teeny tiny chairs too. Look at these chairs. Oh, they I do have light. tiny chairs. See, a lot of people, if you're over 250, this is going to be very tight and comfortable for you. And usually on um, a lot of the ships, like the Royal Caribbean, they'll have little two-seater like uh, yeah. love seats. Yeah, for people. So, for, especially for couples, but I call it the fat chairs. Oh well. But here, it's disappointing. It is. Just because they should think about a lot more people. Yeah. Basically, that's the shopping area. Good. Let's go forward because we're see we're all the way at the front right now. See that? Well, look outside. Can't go out that way. We're all the way at the front. Oh, we're going all the way to the back. So let's take a scenic walk. Now this is neat. It just like opens up into a stool. I'm used to like a hallway or something. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh. Cool. You know, it's all different and new. <laughs> I love these fine shows. I know. The art gallery. Rings. Jewelry. Rings galore. Limelight. More stores. These have a lot more variety here than a lot of ships for if you yeah. want to go shopping. This is a cute bar. Yeah, it is. Look at those neat chairs. Those are cool. I love the decor. I know. Now go that. That's the seafood bar I just said it was nice, Amy. Oh, I didn't even see it. Ooh, well, That's the one we were talking about earlier. Yeah, right here. Cool. That's Ocean the Terrace. Sure, that's the one. Yeah. Seafood bar. This is what we were really interested in, but they didn't really have a lot of info on it. What's the treasure chest sampler? Right here. That's the level we came in on, four. And then every level there's things to do. There's a bar over there, and then, this, and then a seafood bar up here. It's the main hub. I've been walking for so long. I know, I told you it was a longer ship. What was it? Oh, is this it? Are we here? Oh, there it is, look. West Coast Yay. IPA craft beer. I'm gonna so try one of those. Game to try. Yes. So it's their own beer, they make it. Yeah. And look, they have different, oh, what is this, liquors here? And um, that's really cool. Well, this is the pub and the restaurant, like um, the upcharge restaurant where you pay more to eat there. But apparently, during certain days, maybe sea days, she's not sure. We have to look on our little um, flyer. They have the English pub lunch in there for no charge, which I was hoping to have like fish and chips and salmon's food and stuff like that. But they're closed. So we're, she says you can get this anywhere at any bar here on the ship. So we're just gonna go grab one and go to our balcony, I think, and just look at the water before it gets dark, unpack and that kind of stuff. <laughs> here it is. Why are you laughing at me? Liz was laughing at me. My sister's laughing at me. Are they laughing at me? It's okay. Sea Witch. It's an IPA brewed exclusively for Princess Cruises. And um, I don't like it. I got to try because I like trying things. Um, if it was like um, cider or something, I'm sure I'd really love it. I've only been drinking here and there for a few months. And I'm not like drinking, but I'll try. I like trying new things and I enjoy trying new beers and stuff. And so I tried this. That's all I'm drinking. Because it's, it's really bitter. I know that's not the right word to use. I'm not good at describing things. I just don't like IPA very much. If you like IPA, you would like this. And if you like IPA and you come on a princess ship, you should try it because it's exclusive to princess. So I'm going in my room now. Hi. So we made it back to the room. We are hungry. We we're talking about going and eating dinner because it's like 5 o'clock. And dinner usually starts at 5.30. But we realized that we have no idea where the dining room is, if there's more than one dining room, if you get to choose, or... We're checking our Princess Patter. The Patter. The Princess Patter. And we were enjoying our gorgeous balcony view. It's just amazing. Yep. I was looking at dining. The International Cafe is open 24 hours. Gelato is open till 11. Um, okay, here we go. There's a symphony dining room, which is anytime dining, which is what we have. 
and it's deck five midship, so it's one deck above the National Cafe, and it is um, first open seating starting at five. I don't know you could eat at five. I would have been down there thirty. Wait, isn't the symphony the one we saw today when we first came on? Yeah, I think it is. I think but it was. Five. I could have eaten at five. I like that. That was thirty minutes ago. Then there's concerto, which is the anytime. That's what I said. No, you said Symphony was any time. Oh, there's two any times. Ah. That one is deck six midship, and it's open from noon to 1.30. I guess they have lunch there. And 7.30 to 9.30. So it's like a later dining for any time, huh? Yeah, but the other one's open to 9.30 also. But if you want to eat early, you're going to have to go to the Allegra, to the um, Symphony dining room. Well, I like eating early, but I'd like to try them both out. Hmm, don't know. Allegro. That's another no, dining room? I can room? eat at 7.30. Allegro is traditional when you're assigned either early or late seating. And then that's it. That's the dining rooms. I guess there's three of them. There's other things, you know, like that um, pizzeria is open till 11 and ice cream bars open till 11. Everything seems to be open oh, look, late. Trident Grill Smokehouse Barbecue style. Ooh. Check that out. Open till 11. Is that an upcharge? No. Huh. Everything seems to be open till 11, food wise. I really want to know what time the pools close. Yeah, I don't like it when they close early. Me either. Tonight there's comedy. Yep. We're on deck five, and there's the symphony dining room. Yeah, it's right here. It's the one we went in this morning, I think. Oh, right around the corner. Woo, I'm excited. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice menu. Oh, wow, did you see how close we are to the water? Oh, wow, we yeah. are. I mean, we're like right above the water line. Look how fast it looks like you're going on a down bot, you know, really close to it. What a beautiful view, huh? I'm excited. There's a couple of spicy things on the menu, but so far, I think that the um, fettuccine Alfredo looks really good. See that also with a crisp parmesan basket, mm. and I think that the um, the seared I don't know what that is barramundi barramundi I don't know what that is. That sounds like I might like it. Oh, they have New England clam chowder. Oh, that sounds good. They don't ever have like clam chowder. Yeah, I think that I I think I ordered the clam chowder and that um, fettuccine alfredo and the fish, and hopefully I will like something. <laughs> what about you? I'm not sure yet. I have to look. What's in the bread basket? Mmm, bread. <laughs> Look, Ooh. I have those little breadsticks you loved so much on. You really do? On the Costa? Yeah. See on the I was just thinking when you unwrapped it, I'm like, oh, remember those breadsticks on the Costa? See in the bottom there? Homemade breadsticks. Yummy. Those were her that bread looks good. It does. That one looks good. You know what they don't have, though, the Costa had? Balsamic Olive oil vinegar. and balsamic vinegar. <laughs> the yeah. duck. Yeah, sure. I I like think are are you copying me, Elizabeth? It's okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's okay to, put, to serve you the uh, fettuccine first? Yes. That's right totally there. fine. Thank you. You got almost everything I got except for you out on duck. I got two entrees, one soup, one appetizer. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, but once again, we'll see how much we actually end up eating. I know. How many times I only order? How many times I only order one appetizer and one entree, and then I get the food and I don't like it. We learned a long time ago to order, order extra. <laughs> yeah, it takes like 30 minutes or more because they have to go. Yeah. You know, so. Plus, there's an upside photos and video of the actual food. Just because we don't like it doesn't mean anybody else does. You know? And normally I would eat, like with my fish, I would eat some pasta. Yeah. Like I wouldn't have just a bowl of pasta or a piece of fish. So, you know. Yeah. So we'll see. Are you having any bread? I am going to have one. I think I'm, I don't know. That one looks good, but I think I'm going to try the white bread. For I'm going to have a bread stick. And look at the pretty butter. I know. This is very laid back and relaxed in here, isn't it? Yes. I like and it. The is very nice. It is very nice. So far, I have to say that the service is excellent. I've seen tons of people who work here all around. Like they come actually to you out in the atrium. And yeah. They ask you if you want drinks and stuff. And it's just like, I swear, like three times more people helping here on the other, than the other ships. Yeah, and they seem uh, really just sincerely nice. more to pamper you, you know. Well, here is our first order, the Alfredo Parmesan. Looks good. Looks very good. It looks like it has a good enough sauce on it, yeah. a good amount of sauce. Looks American. <laughs> and the portion's not that huge, which is nice. I don't like to leave stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've done a pretty good job. Hmm? 
Mmm. <laughs> she likes. Mm. <laughs> really likes, huh? Well, other than what I make myself, this is like some of the best I've had. Actually. Well, that's a compliment. It's super good. She makes mm. great pasta. <laughs> okay, I don't. You guys, just in case, you might probably not know this. Okay. You guys probably don't know this, but I don't eat MSG. Um, Elizabeth, do you think it's like MSG good? You know, like no, extra really flavorful? Light, light flavor. Fine, so it's not like a overly strong MSG kind of flavor. You know that a lot of Alfredo sauces, most of them do have MSG. It's like buttery. And yummy. We'll see. If I have any issues after dinner, I'll let everybody know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I just looked out the window and there's a cruise ship. Bam, right there. You can't see it? No. There it is. It's I'll a look celebrity. At your video. Oh, a celebrity. That's yes, it's just next. right there outside the window. Why well, has a big X on it? It's so pretty, right? Look how pretty it is, you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Is it going the opposite way? No. It's right next to us. It might be yes. the one that we had in here. No. Yes. Are we going forwards or backwards? Is that forwards? Then it's going that way. Of course it's going that way. It was in port with us. But yeah, it's, I was it was in port. It must be going faster than us. It might have farther to go. True. You know, you slowly travel oh, you know, in a hurry. That's like right. When we went on our Costa, we had to go all, like, however many thousands of miles. Oh my gosh, it was like 6,000 miles round fast. trip. It went fast. But here's the thing. Just so you guys know, in the morning we're going to be in Princess Keys, Bahamas. And I kind of don't want to get off the ship right away. Can I tell you that? I'm thinking about... I'm the audience. No, I'm the viewers. No, you didn't tell me that. We usually get off first thing in the morning, go to the island, you know, video, look around, and then come back and you know, do like most people, have lunch, and get ready for you know the rest of the day. But I was thinking, since it's only the only stop there is, and the whole ship is full of people, that everyone would get off in the morning. So if we stay on and then we go to the pools or look, or, you know, do what you want to do, like in the pool area, pool, when you know there, hot tub. and then when everyone starts to come back, like around 12. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Romel. Romel. Hey. Short waiter. He's so sweet. Hope we get him every night. Anyways. Then we come back when everyone when everyone starts to come back like around twelve for lunch. We can go to the island and then we'll kind of miss that crowd. Hopefully, the island, you know. Oh, this is my favorite. Right. Sure, let's try it. Ooh, there we go. Thank Ooh, you. we look at that. Thank you. Sushi. So it's deep fried sushi. Deep fried sushi, and it is just beautiful. It is, isn't it? I mean, that's just beautiful. It's so cool seeing that cruise ship just right there. I was going for the knife to cut my sushi. <gasps> No, 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 no cutting your sushi. <laughs> no cutting sushi. No cutting sushi. I remember that. Okay. What are you doing? Checking out the cucumber and the carrot and the middle of the sushi sea. So Amy was about to cut her sushi until she remembered um, we were watching this other lady on YouTube's uh, vlogs or Japan, videos. Yeah, she lives in Japan and she's really, really cool. She tells you things like to do or not to do when you're in Japan. Yeah, and that was one of the big no-nos is you have to eat the sushi. You either bite it like Amy just did or eat it whole. You can't like cut it up. It's just disrespectful. How is it? Mm -hmm. It's like disrespecting the chef's artwork. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple. Just underneath the water. Tasty, flavorful. Okay. Different. Next, we have um, clam chowder. Is that what it is? I didn't want. Clam chowder. Yeah, Yummy. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's yummy, but ready? I'm gonna try it and see. Ready? Mmm, it's very good. I like the food is not over seasoned. I like that a lot. Mm. <laughs> this is the first time that I have ever finished a bowl of soup on a cruise ship. It's usually like too potatoey, you know, like they use it as a filler, or it's just too watery. I don't know, this is just amazingly delicious. I've actually eaten everything I got so far. That's amazing. That's really amazing, you guys. It really is. For real. Ugh, can't wait to see what's next. The only other place that happened was on the Costa ship. That's it. I usually leave hungry. <laughs> Thank you. Yummy. I'm like, I want to order another fettuccine. I want to order another sushi. Oh, that's true. I was like, I would order another sushi because you have to realize it's the only chance you're ever going to get to have this food. But then, thank you. 
I got shrimp cocktail, but I didn't know it had sauce on it. I probably won't eat that. I'll just have one piece over there. But anyway. I think it's a horseradish spice sauce. Oh. Well, anyway, what I was saying is, I could get more and leave stuffed, but I don't like to be stuffed. So I just enjoy the taste that I had while I had it. Same with the Costa. Mm -hmm. And then you think about it all the time when you're back I'm home. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Did you have anything else coming? Lamb and fish. It's not lamb. Duck. Fish and duck. Ooh, okay, let's get into this. So here's my fish. It smells very flavorful. Tell us how it is. Hot. It's very hot. The food's hot, which is good. Lots of times it sits around, you know, the food in the dining rooms, it gets cold. Is it good? <laughs> and what is that? That's your duck? That's my duck. Oh. It's hand glazing. Oh, wow. That's a potato cake. And like a pineapple tomato, like a pineapple Oh, tomato. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bon appetit. I don't know what that is. Potato flan? No. <laughs> Notice on our cruise vlogs that Elizabeth orders alternative animals. <laughs> I don't like alternative animals. I do. On the Costa, she ordered like rooster and rabbit and whatever else there was that was not normal. I think the rabbit is like. I don't like duck or lamb or root. You know. Does it look? It looks. Uh uh. No, I'm not gonna try it. Thank you for offering. It's good though. My fish was. Words cannot describe how amazing my fish was, you guys. I'm done with the plate, but Elizabeth ate her fish too. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. The best. Camera battery is about to die. So are my batteries. Your batteries? Are you tired? <laughs> yeah, I got up early. You have about six more hours to go, so we want to go get some coffee. You never had coffee today. I want some tea. Let's get yes. tea after we're done. This is the beautiful dessert menu. Oh, look, digesties. Digesties? I need some of that. Look. Digestives. Cool. Thing catch your eye, Elizabeth, on the dessert menu. They have a princess love boat dream. Chocolate mousse on brownie. Yeah. That's what the princess love boat dream is. Traditional New York cheesecake. Mm. French vanilla creme brulee. I'm going to get a French vanilla creme brulee, traditional New York cheesecake, and some brie and gouda cheese. <laughs> Can you see the dessert, the sweet, the fruits? Sweet and nutritious fruits. Yeah, it says lemon twist and mint. Interesting. That is like a fruit to me. I know. I think I'm going to get the butter almond ice cream and a creme brulee again. Ready for dessert? Good, it's coming. Oh, that peach cobbler looks good. What is this, silent film all of a sudden? It's called Stay Awake on the Bed. I'm a tired person normally, and after I ate, I'm like... Elizabeth, come on, you only up. got up at 3.45. Like in the morning? Yeah. It was 3.45 this morning, my God? Yes, it was. It's when the alarm went off. I set your alarm for 3.45 and you know it. <laughs> I'm just getting up like at 12 or later. Hey, there's another ship out there, you guys. But I can't show it to you right now because it's you can't see it right this minute. That's really cool. This is the cheese. Thank you. This is the cheesecake. This is the lab boat. The love. Oh, look at it, Elizabeth. That's their specialty dessert. Oh, it's the love boat. That's so pretty. 
There's the cheese plate. What is that? It looks like an egg yolk, but it's not. I know. And here is my cheesecake. Looks good. Cheesecake looks very delicious, actually. And of course, we have creme brulee coming. There's your ice cream. That ice cream looks good, too. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Beautiful. Very. We don't usually eat our desserts either, but I hope we are this time because the they look delicious. Okay, I want to try the love boat. Well, how would you rate dinner, Elizabeth? Your dinner experience? I think it'd be five stars. Out of five? Yeah. It was excellent. You know, food quality and service and taste. I mean, it was hot and it was all, all good. What do you think, Amy? Is this what you're done with right there? Your ice cream, your creme brulee. Nah. Nah. That's my cheesecake. And that's my creme brulee. <laughs> I think that I'm actually leaving a dining room full. Which I swear is really rare for me. You guys can see that ship out there now? I'm going to see if you can see it. There it is. See it? Might be the Royal Caribbean. So I was going to run by the room and get some more water and then I thought we can go back to the IC, the International Cafe, and get some tea. What do you think? And then I also have our Princess Patter. Oh yeah. I'm going to look at it and see what's going on. Yes. Yeah, make plans for this evening. And <laughs> official, make official plans for tomorrow. We don't even know what we're doing yet. Yeah. We're on vacation. Yeah. So. <laughs>